the site of an abandoned mental asylum, a very old building that's due to be demolished. So let's go and see if we can take a look inside. Wow, wow that is cool. That old clock tower. <laughs> Exploring. St Crispin's is a former mental hospital on the outskirts of the English town of Northampton. It was one of the first hospitals of its kind when it opened in 1876 after several years of construction and one of the last to close its doors in 1995. Its distinctive red brick pavilion style was the brainchild of a Staffordshire architect named Hugh Griffiths. St Crispin's typified the concept of a mental institution by being completely self-contained. The expansive grounds included a working farm, a market, garden, a cemetery and of course a clock tower too. There was an on-site housing for the psychiatric doctors and nurses who worked there as well as for shoemakers, tailors, carpenters and upholsterers. The 190 foot clock tower stood on the south facade and no one who was resident there can ever forget for whom the bell did toll. Northampton was a town and county around which the English shoe industry was centred and Crispin, the saint of leather and shoemaking, was its spiritual patron. It is wrong to assume that all patients detained were kept in straitjackets and walked aimlessly around in ever decreasing circles, mentally and physically. Confined spaces at St Crispin's meant endless corridors which led nowhere. This was largely home to as many as 2,000 male and female patients at its height, who were misfits and social inadequates of the post-Victorian era, victims of crime, family abuse, delinquency and trauma. St Crispin's was a place for medical experiment on the wholly unfortunate who only found out what was happening to them when it was already too late. The introduction of free national health care in 1948 took away the pauper labelling but intensified the experimentation and of course the intake of patients. dignity and self-respect was senselessly demeaned and stripped away from perfectly sane individuals who became subjected to something new but in reality relabeled as occupational therapy. The hospital has been ravaged by numerous fires during its period, many caused by arsonists and others which cannot be rationally explained. St Crispin's is now but a burned out, ruined shell. 
The buildings and work site of the hospital itself were left relatively untouched. The hospital was also used as a filming location in the 1977 series of Doctor Who in a six-part story called The Talons of Weng Xiang. The mortuary was used to represent a Victorian operating theatre. Hence its dereliction and ruin today, to the extent that the site is fenced off to trespassers and intruders, but this does not seem to prevent the most determined and persistent from entering upon the site, in spite of the obvious dangers to health and safety and posting their recordings of their visits on social media. The ghosts of St Crispin are said to be numerous, including a nurse looking out of a third floor window, paranormal messages transmitted by a restless spirit who was once a cobbler, and another who was a traumatised soldier from World War I. mental asylum. Jesus. What <laughs> the bad scare you. Downstairs, did you say? Oh crap. This must be the ladies. Just visited the gents. Do we dare? Oh my god, we need a torch. Standing on a radiator, an old. Let's go further down. What's down there? Just the closet. Looks just like a storeroom. Let's go upstairs. Weird place for a window. fall through one of these steps. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look too stable up here.
plenty of ghost stories and strange stories about this mental asylum. And that is quite a drop. Look at the bell tower, the clock tower like that, look. Very cool. Creepy place. Uh, doesn't look too stable in here. I don't think I'll walk on that. Where does this lead? This is not the same set of stairs, I'm sure. Oh, what's in that door? It was a toilet, once upon a time. <laughs> Is this where we came in? <laughs> 